There's a lot going on in Bethesda's long-awaited sci-fi RPG, Starfield. And between learning the ropes, juggling the main storyline and its numerous side quests, it's easy to miss out on some awesome gear for the early game until a little later on when the edge it would have brought you is not quite so useful. So here's a short guide on how to get yourself an impressive gear set, free ship, and a reputation that will allow for some interesting interactions while you're out in the Starfield. Captains, my name's Beard of Oz and here's how you get your hands on the legacy of the Mantis. It just wouldn't be a Bethesda RPG if there weren't a thousand small tidbits of information floating around waiting to be looted and found, from audio recordings to scrolled notes and anything in between. And with all of that information, one can often overlook a golden ticket in amongst all that clutter, and this is one such golden ticket. In your violent interactions with the spaces, you'll loot a slate titled Secret Outpost. Once it's in your inventory, the side mission entitled Mantis will appear, with its first step tasking you with reading the slate. Once you have, the mission will update with the next leg of the journey, making your way to Denebola 1B. Now there's no set location for this slate to drop, just that it drops on dead spaces, so if you haven't found it yet in your travels just keep on with whatever you're doing because spaces make up the bulk of the enemies that you'll encounter and it'll drop soon enough. Once you've arrived at the secret outpost on Denebola 1B, you'll need to fight your way through a bunch of enemies on the outside of the facility and keep an eye out as there are some mines strewn about the area also. Going inside the facility, you'll encounter more spaces, all assumedly after the same thing as you, the secret base of the Mantis. You'll find recordings giving you a bit of a story regarding the journey of one Leon Vuklain, who in a similar way has been directed to find this location, though instead of notes from dead spaces, it's notes from his dead mum. There, I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. The spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. The main piece of information you'll garner from these recordings is the Latin phrase that Leon's mum has been trying to drumbeat into her son's thick skull, but sadly, he clearly didn't get what she was getting at. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Past this shady looking fellow is a kill room, guarded by automated turrets and lid with the bodies of those that like Leon didn't get the clues, the room has a series of letters painted onto the floor. Following the spelling of the word Tyrannus you can safely make your way across the kill floor and further into the hideout. Mind the turrets and robots as you do. When you finally make it to the bat cave-esque looking lair, you'll find the armor of the Mantis on display. The armor comprising of the suit, helmet and boost pack are reasonably armored especially if you're still in the earliest stages of the game. Above this area, you'll see the Razor Leaf, a ship whose name is well known amongst the pirating community. Reading through Durain's memos on a computer, you'll get the backstory on who the Mantis is and how she inherited the mantle. Make your way outside to claim your new ship, the Razor Leaf. Which, as it comes, is a rather good ship and like all ships in Starfield can be customised to your liking. While you're flying the Razor Leaf, regardless of how you've customised it, you'll sometimes encounter hostile ships that will recognise your ship and the legacy that comes with it and attempt to flee. 
but if you're anything like me, you'll finish the job to make the galaxy just a little bit safer. You'll also overhear comments amongst NPCs about the rumoured return of the Mantis, though even if you're wearing the iconic armour set, nobody will make the connection that it's you. And there you have it, a great kickstart to your adventures in the black with the Mantis armor and Razor Leaf ship. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this.